is uh, just sorting out some software issues, but I'm on. I'm here. I'm ready to go. Hope we're all having a nice day today so far. I'll give you a few minutes to join in. Join in. Join in. Yes, that's sorted. Feel free to say hello in the chat once you join. We'll get started in a few minutes. Just wait for a few people to join. All right, Bazinga. How are you? You having a nice day? How are you feeling, mate? Are you feeling all right? I still can't believe you and your missus are broken up. I know you, you seem to be taking it better than the rest of us. You feeling all right though? You coping all right with everything? Oh God, I feel sorry for you having to go there. How was it in Sunderland? You don't have to go about a few places because of your job, innit? Yeah. Might be quite, probably nice there, innit? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Did you have a nice time? Did you uh, did you grab the bouquet of flowers? You all right, Josh? Good afternoon. <laughs> oh, you need to get out more, Josh. <laughs> he was he, he was talking to me, um, Baz, and he's disappeared, so I think he's busy doing something. He'll be back in a minute, though. He seems all right, though. You're one of the lucky people to get to work from home still. I'll, um... I'll give it another five minutes, see if Dave joins in. 
Um, and then I'll start cracking. I have booked pre-booked SmackDown so you can relax. Um, so you don't got to worry about that. Yeah, I'm alright, mate. I'm alright. Um, looking at I'm looking at dogs to adopt, so I'm looking at local dog uh, places. Yeah, there's this dog called Ellie. Um, I'm hoping to adopt her. I'll uh, I'll send you the link on WhatsApp, Josh. Probably easiest way to do it. There you go. I've sent you the link. Oh, you got sausage dogs. My um, my girlfriend really wants a sausage dog, but she wants one uh, ethically bred sausage dogs, so they cost a fortune. So I said, so when she wins the lottery, she can get one. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking to get one from like a dog's trust or like a, you know, because I feel sorry for them. But yeah, my girlfriend's seen seen Ellie and she wants Ellie. She's she's fallen in love with Ellie already. But I don't think I'm too honest with my own good, so they were asking me about my housing situation and I think I might have put them off because the fact is that my land I did say to them that my landlord doesn't let me have uh pets, but I won't be in this property much longer anyway. Uh one of yours is half sausage, half French bulldog. Oh, please send me a photo of your dog on WhatsApp, mate. French Bulldogs are just like the, the, the cutest dogs ever, bless them. So, um, yeah, so if I don't get a dog by the first week of March, me and my girlfriend's going to go to a um, uh, local dog charity place where they've got loads of dogs and I'm going to adopt a dog there, hopefully. Because I've got lots of free time. Because even though I live in a flat, I can walk a dog twice a day. They'll be more. They'll be fine with that. How's your day at work been then, Josh? So far, you've been up too much. Been busy. I wonder if Dave will be joining us today. He's too busy with the twins, isn't he? You still with us, Bazinga? Oh, Josh, your dog is very cute. Oh, oh. If anything terrible ever happens to you or your partner, please put it in the will that I get to adopt your dog. Hello, Dave. That's good timing. I'm literally just about to start in a minute. So you haven't missed anything, my friend. I've purposely waited. I've waited for you. We've, we, 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 me and Josh have been waiting for you. Yeah, I knew you meant the dog. Don't worry. I don't think your wife would appreciate it if you were the father. <laughs> How are you today, Dave? How's your day been? What you been up to? And keep it PG, by the way. <laughs> I know what you like. Right, in 15 seconds, I'm going to start. The show that I've already booked. Paul Paul Bazinger had to go to a bloody flipping wedding in Sunderland. He had to go to Sunderland, the Paul Sard. 
What you been up to today then, Dave? Actually, I'll just give it a minute or two. I'll uh, I'll give you time to say hello to each other and then I'll crack on in a minute. It's good to be busy. What, since, since the last episode? Oh, uh, just this one. Just, I've just booked, I haven't booked any shows today in this stream. I've only just started 10 minutes ago and I wait, I've waited 10 minutes for people to come along. Uh, Lincoln's not too bad, Josh. I've heard good things about Lincoln. But um, yeah, I haven't started yet. Are you asking me how many shows have I done since I started streaming on Twitch TEW? Is that what you mean? Oh, sorry, mate. So just I've just done this one. So the plan is to basically do two, try and do two two shows a stream, and then eventually try and get to be a little bit quicker and do three shows a stream. It's just because because of obviously all the little things that we've had to do, like editing wrestlers, it's added a bit of time to things. So eventually it'll just get to the point where I'll just become so quickly at doing it that we can do three or four shows a week. It just takes a bit of time. But at the moment, I'll probably be able to do. Two or three shows, probably three, if I can get it done quickly enough. So yeah, but I'm gonna get cracking now, lads. So here we go. Um, I just need to be aware of what you can see and what I can see. So if I do that and I'll do that, right? Can you see that? Yes, you can. Can you see that well enough? You should be able to, shouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Feel free to add anything um, when you look at these. So, ah, so basically, before I carry on with the show, what I've done is to try and give as many wrestlers a run out. I've done a few. Uh, yeah, it was a good rating, wasn't it? I've done a few um, pre show matches. So, from now on, I'm going to do a few pre show matches. Just put two, a few people together, just random matches, get a few wrestlers on the card, and then I'll, I'll do like a big post-show match in case there's any like main eventers that didn't get to wrestle on that show, really. So I know, yeah, they're, they're all face. So Charlie and his dad are faces because they're in that they're in that catch point stable with Matt with Matt Riddle. So they're all baby faces at the moment, but down the road. You never know what might happen. So uh, I haven't got anything in place yet to turn them here, by the way. That's not just the, that's not like me trying to hint or anything. It's just I could eventually turn them here eventually down the road. So, yeah. But, yeah, good little match. 70 rating, which ain't too bad. The annoying thing about it is I need to turn William Regal for babyface. And I forgot to do it. So... I'll have to do it next show. So just somebody remind me about that. But anyway. So in another pre-show match, we had a four-way tag team match between the LWO, Los Loferios, Street Profits, and Gorillas of Destiny, who made the debut. And... Um, uh, let me have a look. on. Sorry. Yeah, so the LWO won. Um, if bear with, let me just type something. There you go. I've just typed it. Have a read. Yeah, assigned assigned God. So uh, yeah, just give us a minute or two. 
In fact, if I'll, I'll just go through the show, but I won't say much about it. But, um, yeah, Montez Ford seemed off his game for some reason. Probably having, having fun with Bianca Belair too much. So I did um, Carmelo Hayes versus the debut in Loki. They got 69 rating. Loki defeated Carmelo Hayes. I'm a big. I've always been a big fan of Loki. I actually got to see Loki. I was. I was. I was he was at. A, he was at a Fight Club Pro show I saw years ago, and uh, I was buzzing when I saw him. I couldn't believe it. I was a big, big Loki fan when 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 Ring of Honor first came in. I thought Loki was going to be the next version of the Rock. I just thought he was going to be the biggest badass babyface ever. So yeah, how wrong I was. Uh, I think Loki. The problem with Loki, he got too big for his boots. I think that's what happened. But yeah, he is a badass. And he can still go in the ring after all these years. Um, he had an excellent match at Wrestle Kingdom with Kota Ibushi and Finn Balor. I think it was Wrestle Kingdom 17. Josh would probably know more than I would. So yeah, he's still good in the ring. Um, and Carmelo Hayes doesn't need to win every match at the moment. We're not heavily pushing him. We just want him to get experience. Why is it not letting me do anything? Oh, there we go. So, in a decent pre-show match, A-Town Down Under, which is obviously Austin Theory and Grayson Waller, defeated British Strong Style in uh, Austin Theory 1. That got an 80 rating, which is really good. So, yeah, so that's pretty good. Um, I started the main show with um, Charlotte Flair cutting a promo in the match with Mickey, Ronda and Naomi, because I've brought Ronda Rousey back. I can't remember if I told you that before. Charlotte got 88 rating, so things are looking good at the moment. Um, that's it, yeah, Wrestle Kingdom 7. Yeah, cheers, Josh, I, I, I forgot. For some reason, I thought it was 17, but yeah, Wrestle Kingdom 7. That was a really good, that got me into New Japan, that did that show, it was a really good show. Um, so we got an 83 rated... 83 rating for this match. Ronda Rousey won. Um, the match was a little short, so I kept it a little bit short because of the fact that Ronda Rousey was in there. So next time I do a match like that, I might do it a little bit longer and see what happens. Um, so did an angle where the Iconics taunt the All-Star team, which is Bianca and Jade Cargill. Uh, disappointingly this match only got a 66 rating but the all-star team defeated the Iconics basically I'm just pushing the tag team of Bianca Belair and uh, Jay Cargill at the moment so uh, we had Bailey defeated Kari Sane that got an 81 rating uh, too short so maybe I'll have to do that longer next time I'm sometimes a bit too careful with the, the times because I don't want to go too over just in case. Um, just in case, like, basically, you know what I mean, just in case it goes downhill because I've done it too long. So, post-match, Ayo Sky attacks Bailey. That only got a 66 rating. Uh, apparently, there wasn't enough star power for this, which is quite disappointing. So, uh... I did the, there you go, I've done the um, heel turn of X-Pop because for some reason Six-Pack had Robert Roode and James Storm as baby face, um, as heel, sorry, but X-Pop was a baby face, so yeah, but it was just an angle just to turn him, and then we've done Six-Pack defeating the LWO, which is Callisto, Metalik and Lince Dorado, got 70 rating, uh, Lince Dorado was off his game. Ah, so I need to get rid of Selena Vega as the manager of Lince Dorado for now. But uh, Six Pack continued to win and Six Pack continued to look good. So there we go. Yeah, you've, you've, jinxed, you've jinxed us now, Josh, by saying that. You know that, don't you? How the... I mean, see, you jinxed us, didn't you? 54 rating for AJ Styles versus Rey Mysterio. Are they having a laugh? The reason why is the crowd become increasingly restless and noisy by the match become more and more. So 
it's my fault because I assumed that a match like this would need it to go all out with a slow build and overbooking it a bit. So it is my fault. I thought one match had to at least have something going on like that, but I will I will resist the urge next time. I will do a normal match between these two next time just to see if the rating get, is any better. But yeah, it, other than that, it was um, a pretty good show. Because they're both like really good high flyers and stuff like that, I just assumed... Yeah, I know. I know. I know for next time, anyway. It's a learning curve, isn't it? We'll get that perfect show eventually, Josh. Don't you worry. Right. And this only got a 42. I'm surprised by this. So, in the end, I did a post-show post, uh, post -show match with Andrade, Bobby Lashley, Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens, and A. Knight, defeating the bloodline of Hikaleo, Jimmy Uso, Samu Alofa, Solo Sukhoi, and Roman Reigns when Cody Rhodes pins Hikaleo. I didn't. I didn't pick a particular winner. I just. Want, I was curious who would win that match. And I think I might have overbooked this match by accident. I don't think I meant to do it. So uh, yeah. So the, so everything up to, up to that point was pretty good. So at least we'll, I'm, I'm learning gradually, bit by bit, and it will get easier. But as you can see, a lot of craziness going on here. So we got a 67 rating for that, so we're still not getting there. Um, but at least we haven't got any of them crazy like things about the aims. But yeah, we're still losing popularity. But yeah, uh, so that's that really. Oh, no, I've done something wrong there. There we go. It's all right. But up until that point, it was all right, wasn't it? Up until that, map, the, uh, the the main event, it was it was doing pretty well, didn't it? So at least that's um, take the positives from that. Um, can you see what I can see? Let me have a look. No, you can't. Bear with us. Right, you can see the inboxes now, I think, hopefully. So, uh, Grayson Waller talks well, giving promo times and the crowds will respond. So, I've got to try and give um, Grayson Waller some promo time. I'm liking what I hear from Solo Sukhoi. There's money in this kid, promos, if given at time. So, we've just got to give him some time. Uh, we've got just over a million viewers for SmackDown. So, that's quite good. Right, let me just see when the next show is. We've got the Royal Rumble coming up in eight days. You never know, we might be able to get to the Royal Rumble at some point today. So let's just try and get through this as quick as possible. Yeah, the only reason I did the post-show um, match was just to just to basically just give other wrestlers a run out. Really, um, I didn't have many heels other than the Bloodline. I think the only other heels I had was Pat McAfee, who's not not a wrestler really, and somebody else I can't remember now. So I think I think SmackDown's severely lacking top heels. So I'll have to sort that out at some point. All right, we'll forward another day to the next show. But cheers as always for for coming around you three. You're my little support group and I do appreciate it. Dave, were you successful in finding anybody else to come along and watch? Come along and join in the fun? I keep posting in that TEW group on Facebook that I'm in, um, but 
I don't think anybody's interested because I've done it every day now. Well, not every day, every time I've been streaming. Nah, it's okay, mate. Don't worry about it, Dave. I'm not going to keep pestering you. I appreciate you trying, though. Um, but no, don't worry. I won't bring it up again. Oh, is that the small TUW group? What's the big TUW group, then? Can you send me the link on here, if you don't mind, Josh? Right, just add an inbox item to say Becky Lynch is fully fit. So that's good. Right, so our next match is next show is coming up, I think. Oh, is there a next show? I think the Royal one was next show, isn't it? Oh no, Raw tonight. Sorry, I got confused by that then. Right, I need to do an angle where William Regal turns. I'll do that as a pre-show one. It doesn't need to be doing it. So we've had a, an incident involving Matthew Gregg, uh, famous for the Botchmania videos. So Matthew Gregg was brought into, before Wrestler's Court, accused of being an hour late to pick up a signed travel partner. The judge, Steve Austin, found him guilty and sent him to pay for the travel partner's meals for the next three shows. Matthew Gregg has a lively personality and currently happy. And then the incident had a small positive effect on Matthew Gregg. So there you go. I meant to send uh, Matthew Gregg to developmental with uh, the other cultaholic uh, team that I've got, but I forgot to do it. So I'll do that later. All right. Okay, cool. Oh, no, you need to send it to my... Um, you need to send... Yeah, you're going to have to send me the link, Josh, instead, because I'm not, you, I'm not signing in with my personal Facebook. I'm signing in with... The uh the the Lucha FM one. So yeah, don't worry about it, mate. I'll sort it out. I can sort it out later with you if you need me. Um just for a laugh before I actually book raw, I'm gonna auto book this. I'm not gonna continue, I'm just gonna I'm just curious what they do. Just for a laugh. So if we do auto book, if we do book whole show. So there you go. <laughs> Actually, they didn't do too bad, to be honest. Uh, I've got six people in here now. That's really good. Hello, every hello. If there's anybody else in here that wants to come and join in the chat, feel free to say hello. Oh, yeah, I can do that, Josh. Yeah, I can do that. I just won't be able to do it on here um, for now. But, yeah, if we have a look here. So we've got Tozawa versus Okada. That would probably have been a really good match. DIY versus AOP, and these were the pre- these are the pre-match shows, uh, pre-show matches. Sorry, Macadona, Macadona versus Natalia. A uh, couple of angles. Logan Paul versus Finn Balor. We had the Judgment Day of, Ro of Dominic Mysterio and Rhea Ripley versus the brawling brutes of Nikki Cross and Sheamus. Uh, Nakamura versus CM Punk. That would have been a good match. Carmella versus Jey Uso. Um, there's a lot of mixed. There's a lot of mixed gender matches here, aren't there? Intergender matches. Sorry, not mixed gender. Xavier Woods versus Becky Lynch. <laughs> Shall I run this show? What do you reckon, everyone? Shall I just do this show? <laughs> just for the lols to see what happens. Uh, we'll just pretend Okada didn't de debut. Uh, and then Steve Austin and Cody Rhodes versus John Cena and Drew McIntyre, which again, probably would have been a really good match. No, I'm going to clear this. I'm only joking. I'm not going to do it. I was just teasing you. Right, then. Uh, what we're going to do for this show is we're going to do a collaboration. We're going to, I want you three to all, I want you to, because I don't think Bazinga's, well, Bazinga, if you're still here, just feel free to um, give me ma a match suggestion if you want to, but don't worry if you don't want to. Um, but yeah, what, what are we doing for matches, do you reckon? If I show you the storylines, can you see that? Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, you can. So we've got storylines. Oh, this is Raw. We're on Raw, by the way. So um, some of these are SmackDown, aren't they? So we've got Bron, Ver Bron Breaker versus Walter storyline. Um, I think is Logan Paul on SmackDown. No, they're on SmackDown. A lot of these are SmackDown. 
I need to do some. We got Becky Lynch back. Oh, I need to do. I need to do quite a bit more Raw storylines. Right, let's think of some Raw storylines. We do Seth Rollins versus. Who are we gonna do for Seth Rollins? Any suggestions for Seth Rollins? Who do you want him to go against for the next? For the, hold on, isn't Seth Rollins on on the in the Royal Rumble? Oh, he's in the Royal Match, isn't he? So yeah, we can do a storyline with him. It's fine. Drew. Okay, I'm all right with that. So we do Drew. So there you go. So we've got Drew versus Seth. Oh, he's already in one. I forgot Seth Rollins is already in a... I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll swap Seth Rollins for CM Punk. So we'll do CM Punk versus... Drew McIntyre. So that can be one of the big storylines on Raw. Um, Cody and Seth are already in storylines against the Bloodline. So this this the Bloodline storyline can be on both brands because Cody is on both brands. Um, Seth Rollins is on Raw and then Roman Reigns and The Rock are on SmackDown. So you've got the two baby faces on Raw and the two heels on SmackDown. So at the moment, this one... This storyline can't really do much unless it's on a pay-per-view situation. So we need to... Unfortunately, we can't have Seth Rollins in two storylines. Um, let me have a look. Let's have a look at the roster. And we'll have a look who's on Raw when it comes to the main eventers. So we do... Wrestler. Brand. Raw. Um... We do perception, star. Ah, we need to do male. That would help, wouldn't it? Gender, male. There we go. Oh, we've got to push Baron Corbin, haven't we? What do you reckon? Baron Corbin versus... Have we got any heels? I don't think we've got any heels, everybody's... I don't really want to do Sheamus versus Baron Corbin. I don't want to turn any of these. Let's have a look and see who else is on here. Major star. Otis. Apparently Otis is a major star on, on here. What? Otis, everyone. Have we got to push the big guy? Uh I need some I need a heel. We haven't really got any heels. Right, let's just do that, and we'll do any perception. Yeah, we're very short on heels. Bronson Reed versus Otis. I don't think that would be very appealing. Damien Priest. We could do um, Damien Priest and Dominic. Oh, we could do the Judgment Day. We could do like a Judgment Day storyline, couldn't we? Against three baby faces. <gasps> ah. No, we don't need it. We'll never need any, any, a heel Otis. That nearly killed him. Um, what we could do is we could do the Judgment Day trio of Finn Balor, Damien Priest, and Drew, Ma Drew, not Drew, Dominic Mysterio versus Chad Gable, Otis, and um, Tazawa. Yeah, it's our truth. <laughs> our truth is the no. He's been kicked out of Judgment Day. He, he just he's just a bit silly. He thinks he's in. A, he thinks he's in the Judgment Day. So yeah, I think I'll do that then. I think I'll do uh, a storyline of the Judgment Day versus American Alpha or whatever they're called. Alpha Academy, sorry. So why can't I find storylines? There we go. I'd have to do them as two separate ones though, won't I? Because you can only have four in each storyline, annoyingly. Right, so we do... We do... Uh, Hold on, let me think. We do Dominic versus Chad Gable. And then we can do... Oh, no, because we need Otis and Chad. Oh, I don't know. Actually, I'm going to cancel this. I need to think. I need your help, lads. I'm getting confused. Raw, 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 raw. 
Cross is stable. He's not in this. I delete. I got rid of um, Cross. I don't like him. Can't stand him. Uh, let's have a look at the stables. Let me see if you can see this. Oh, I've got an idea. Oh, they're on SmackDown, aren't they? I was going to say we could have done six pack versus Judgment Day, couldn't we? But they're on SmackDown. So we've got Alpha Academy on Raw. Um, there's only three members at the moment because I, I basically looked at the roster and unless they were in an important storyline or I was going to at least put them in, in shows, I just sent all the young wrestlers that I weren't going to push for a while back to um, NXT for now. So Maxine Dupree, Ivy Nile, and the Creed Brothers at the moment, because uh, the Creed Brothers are not rated very well on here. You should use the in-game notepad and have a raw section of SmackDown. Just so you have. Where's the? Mm. You have to use the. Oh, hold on. Is that it? Oh, that's it, isn't it? Can you see that? Oh, you can't see that, but I found it. Don't worry. Yeah, I know. I know what you're saying. I could always do this, though. Oh, no, I'll do it offline. I was going to literally just put Raw next to their name, but no. So we've got Alpha Academy on Raw... I think they're on Smack. Yeah, they're on SmackDown. A lot of them are on SmackDown. Uh, they're wherever they want to be. Uh, no, they're not. Randy Orton's on. Randy Orton's on Raw, any? I know this is very frustrating for everyone. I do apologise. Right, let me have a look at. Where's Randy Orton? Randy Orton, where are you? Randy Orton's on SmackDown. I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. I'm going to transfer him to Raw. Where's Triple H? Triple H, he's on Raw. So I should have had Randy Orton on Raw anyway. Where's Big Dave? Big Dave. Big Dave. He's not on any brand, so we'll put him on Raw. So there we go. So we've got Evolution. Evolution versus... What do you reckon? Evolution versus um, The Judgment Day? Yeah, yeah. They're all on Raw, the ones you've just mentioned. They're all on Raw already. But they're tag teams, aren't they? They're not... I know The Judgment Day is a, a stable, but like, yeah. So we've got Triple H, who's an occasional wrestler on the game, because I wanted him to occasionally wrestle or not reflect it on real life, the fact that he can't actually wrestle ever again because of his heart. So, yeah, I know. I've changed it so he can, because I just wanted him to wrestle occasionally. Yeah, so I could have, like, Batista and Randy Orton do most of the work in the matches, or, or, and then on the events, he can Triple H can occasionally come in as well, can't he? So we could do like, what we could do is Batista and Randy Orton versus Damian Priest and Finn Balor. We could do that and just have that as one storyline. And then just occasionally put Triple H and Dominic Mysterio in there in six months and stuff. Yeah, what do you reckon? Yeah, I think I'll do that then. Because we all love Big Dave, don't we? Especially in the in these polo tops. We all, we all like him. Especially Blue Teaster. Blue Teaster was awesome. Right, so we're going to do that then. We're going to do Judgment Day versus Evolution. So at least we're building up on the raw. I don't know, I think I've spelled that wrong. So.
yeah, we can definitely do like single matches and things like that. So that's good. So we're happy with that. Um, I think we've got. How many, let's have a look. How many female? So we've got what? We've got two on SmackDown. We've only got one female storyline on Raw. So let's have a look at the Raw roster for the women. AJ Lee, maybe I'm thinking in the storyline. So we do. So we've got female, and we do wrestler. So if we do face first, so we've got AJ Lee. Oh, Bailey's on Raw. No, Bailey's. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. Hold on. Uh, brand. There we go. Raw. Sorry about that. Right. So we've got AJ Lee, Beckham, Story in storyline. We've got Liv Morgan, Natalia. Natalia and Nikki Cross or Tegan Knox don't really like inspire me. So maybe AJ Lee. So we'll do AJ Lee in a big storyline or Lynn Morgan if that doesn't really work. And if we look at the heels now. So we could do AJ Lee versus Alexa Cross, maybe. Hold on, let me let me look at the chat messages. Sorry. Can Evolution add a woman to go against Rhea? Uh hmm. Rhea's in a storyline with Becky Lynch at the moment. I could always put Becky Lynch in Evolution. Would that be a solution? So we've got quite a few decent heels here that can work. Then again, I think I might put Chelsea Green and Piper Niven in a tag feud. So but we've also got we've got quite a few decent tag teams in the women's department on the heel side. So we could do either AJ Lee versus Alexa Bliss. Um, I think that's the only ones really that excite me maybe AJ Lee versus Shayna Baszler with Zoe Stark interference and that so your options are AJ Lee versus Alexa Bliss AJ Lee versus um, Shayna Baszler or Zoe Stark which one would you prefer lads I will go with what you lot want to do or I could do I could do AJ Lee versus AJ Lee and Liv Morgan in a tag feud. No, I won't do that. I won't do that. I'll let you. I'll wait. I'll wait a minute or two. Let you have a chance to. Oh, I've got some messages. Bear with us. Shayna, what do you reckon, Dave? Shayna, Zoe, or Alexa Bliss? Okay, so we'll do AJ Lee versus Shayna, yeah? And I can put Zoe Stark in there as well. So then AJ Lee can have like random tag partners like Liv Morgan and stuff and when they want to mix it up. So yeah, sounds good to me. Right. That's storyline. AJ Lee versus Shayna. Oh, um, no, I've got, I've actually got a better idea. I need to do something first. If we, I'm going to transfer Ronda to Raw. Bear with us. I'm going to add a new stable because we all love stables. Can you see what I'm doing on the stable section? No, you can't, can you? Uh, I don't bear with us. Right, what do you reckon? Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler, Surrey Stark and somebody else in a four horsewoman stable, maybe Piper Niven. What do you reckon? Let me have a look. Oh, maybe 
Maybe Sonia Deville. Actually, Sonia Deville would be better, wouldn't she? She's got an MA background. Uh, annoyingly, I haven't got a horse. So I'll just do the horse men logo for now. I'll just do the horse men logo for now. I can find a horse women logo afterwards. There we go. We'll do that. No. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll have that logo for now. So we do Ronda Rousey as the leader. Shayna as the deputy. Zoe Stark as member. Let's have a look, see who you're suggesting. I've been suggesting the UK have a four-day work week for bloody years now, and my old boss said it will never happen, and gradually other countries have been doing it now, and I think it will happen in the UK eventually. Um, if anything, it will save businesses um, money paying people to work an extra day. Is it really? Hold on then. Breaking news, everyone. Let me just have a look. UK to... Hold on. Let me go on BBC News. That'll probably be the easiest way to do it. Not that you can see this, by the way, what I'm looking at. It's taking a while to load. Uh, nothing on BBC News that I can see. Where is everybody else seeing it? Are they? Are you just seeing it on Twitter and stuff? They just announced it. Where have they announced it? On is it on TV? Four day week for most major companies. So it's not for everybody. It's just for like big companies, isn't it? It's not going to be like for emergency services and people like that. Oh, cheers. Cheers, Josh. I'll just quickly send this to my girlfriend upstairs. So, four-day week made permanent for most UK firms in world's biggest trial. Oh, I've got to send this to my old boss. This is going to really annoy him. As he was adamant that this would never happen. Just bear with us. We will get back to doing TEW stuff in a second, everyone. There we go. Rubbing it in his face. Right, let's let's get back to... I'll read this afterwards when I've finished. Right, everyone. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. We're back on track. So, are we reckon Sonia Deville or do we reckon Piper Niven? I feel like Piper Niven should be separate. She should be in a tag team with Chelsea. Actually, Piper Niven's already in a stable, but so is Sonya Deville in the same stable. Uh, can anybody else remember, without me going out of that screen, the other heels that were in there? No, I'm just going to go with Sonya. It's all right. I'm just going to go with Sonya. She is the best one out of the three, isn't she? I could put her as a lackey. There we go. She can be like uh, the one that takes all the losses in the stable. Right, so if she's in there, I need to take her out of this A-list one. So what we're going to do then is, storyline-wise, do we reckon Ronda Rousey versus AJ Lee is a, is a, bit, is a bit of a better storyline? And we can have like Shayna Baszler and Seri Stark in that storyline um, going against AJ Lee. What do you reckon? I think that just has more of an appeal than just Shayna Baszler versus AJ Lee. I could be wrong. Let me know what you think. I'm going to do it anyway, but... Just curious whether you think it's a good idea or not. So, storylines. Add storyline. And we do AJ Lee versus Ronda. 
I'll see. There we go. Right, that's that. Let me just check that I've got all of these in the right order. Right, so let me just tell you which one we've got on Raw now. So we've got, hold on, let me just check the chat first. Uh, yeah, so we've got AJ Lee versus Ronda Rousey on Raw. That's the Raw. Bron versus Walt was on Raw. CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre is on Raw. Evolution versus Judgment Day is on Raw. Uh, Akada versus Nakamura, but we're not starting that till WrestleMania, so we ain't going to worry about that um, for now. And then Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. So we could do, I think what we could do to kick off Raw, we could do a big women's match. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. Can you see what I'm doing? Do you want to be watching what I'm doing or not? Because it will spoil it for you, won't it? Or do you want to just be part of the... Do you want to be part of the process where we book it together? Or would you rather I book it and you just watch? Just let me know, because I don't want to spoil it for you. Got six people in here now. Feel free to say hello. Okay, that's fine with me. I think it's better anyway. I think we're better off just doing that. It's more fun, I think, to be honest. Um, you can't see what I can see, though, so let me just add another one. And then we just do this. Right, so I'm thinking Rhea Ripley and the four, the four horsemen women... I know, but when it comes to the pre-booking stuff, it makes it difficult to do it. As in, like, you don't know how many... Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. What I can do is... What we can do is book it... Book up until WrestleMania, and then after WrestleMania, by that point, hopefully I can then book shows in advance and... So it'll be a little bit easier that. So for now, we'll just do it as that. I can I can add surprises eventually anyway, because there'll be a surprise even when I'm booking it, won't they? Even if you know what's going to happen, but you won't know initially. Um, right, I'm rubbing it on. Right, Zoe Stark, uh, and then Sonya Deville, and then we can do AJ, Lee, um, Becky Lynch, AJ Lee. Liv Morgan, we just need two other female baby faces. Natalia, Nikki Cross, T did Tegan Knox and Natalia? Yeah, did Tegan Knox and Natalia. There we go. So that can be the big match that kicks off Raw. We do 18 minutes. Hold on, we'll do 20. We'll do 20. I, I think it might backfire on us. Right. Can you Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do, Dave, is booking backwards, but like I've got an idea what I want to do for the events and I'm just trying to put storylines in place to do that. Um, right, so let me see if you can see. You can't see everything annoying. It's so annoying that we have to keep adding booking things every time I do this. Right, you can see what I can see. So we're just doing a normal match. Do we do work the crowd, lift the crowd? What do you want to, what do you want to do, Josh? Uh, or Dave, you know better than me. So we just leave it as regular and nothing else.
Okay, so just regular. Okay. Um, we just do open match, script it, leave the rest as it is. So that's that. Uh, I'll do an angle as well. So we do an angle as well. We do 10. Can we do 10? We can't do 10. We can do 8. Um, I'm trying to think how many I need. So Rhea Ripley, 5. Oh no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm confusing it. I'll just do 2. We do that. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Josh. Um, freestyle angle. Sorry, I nearly did the wrong one then. So we'll do Rhea Ripley, Rhea attacks Becky after the match. We'll do that eight minutes. Rhea fighting Becky. Do we do selling for Becky or just leave it blank as it is? Just leave it not rated. I'll be alright. After after a few more shows of doing this, I'll know what to do. Okay. Um, let's have a look at Becky's selling. Selling is 88. So she's all good. So, okay, we'll do that then. Uh, advance. Oh, I need to. Uh, I need to add something to that match. Uh, where is Becky? Where the hell is? Oh yeah, because I done rear. That's it. That's why I was getting confused. There we go. Right. I just need to go back into this. Uh, I need to do that. Up. There we go. I just need to add advanced storylines on these. I'm sorry it's a bit long-winded, lads. I'm not as quick as um, you, you two when it comes to this. It's still all new to me, damn it. Uh, and then... Right, so we've got that. Right, so that's that done. Right, let's have a look at the storylines. Oh yeah, we've got Judgment Day versus Evolution. So we're going to do Big Dave. We'll do Big Dave versus Dominic Mysterio. Hold on, why can't I have why can't I pick Batista? What's going on here? For some reason I can't pick big, big Dave. Absent workers? No, he's not injured. Why is it not letting me pick Big Dave? Is Dave an active wrestler? Maybe he's not an active wrestler. He should be though, shouldn't he? Oh, for God's sake. Uh, that story, like this storyline's dead already. No, it's not. We've convinced him. It all is saved. All is right in the world. There we go. Big Dave's back. Right, we can do Big Dave now. Whew, it's getting worried then. Why is it only showing Cole and Graves all of a sudden? Oh, I think it's because Kevin Kelly. Maybe is it to do with Kevin Kelly's contract or something? Hold on. Let's have a look. No, no, I'm in the wrong screen. I need to do announcers. Something happened without me knowing. No, Kevin Kelly's definitely should be on there. He's definitely on the announcers thing. Is he? Is he? Is he wrestling for other people? Is he ma announcing for other people? Uh, negotiate. Uh, his contract hasn't it. So apparently his contract hasn't, yeah, he's not joined yet. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do for now is I'll just put Moro in there. If it lets me, it should let me, shouldn't it? Moro, there we go. And then I'll go back to the booking, change that. We'll add Moro. So we've got Moro in that one. There we go, sorted. Um, wrong one. Sorry. All right, so that's that done. We're all right now. Just let me know. Right. Yeah, I've added him. Cheers, Josh. Right, let me get back on with this. So hopefully, yeah, Moro's in there now, so that's fine. So we'll do Batista versus Dominic. We'll do it 15 minutes. Hopefully Batista can last that long. We'll do Batista win, of course. We'll do Domination win. Um... Do we do storytelling in this one or just leave it? Because I feel like it should be a bit of a story match. Ask his wife. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a few seconds. Do we just do it as a regular match? Because what I think we've got to have aims in this in this show, because otherwise we get penalised. It says we need like three aims, don't we? So we just do this one as storytelling. We'll storytelling cock up the match rating, Josh, all Dave. You turned off all... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did, yeah. So it don't matter, does it? So should I do, should I do storytelling or not? Okay. I'll do storytelling. We'll just see how this goes. Or should I do work the crowd? Should I do work the crowd? Work the crowd? So I read you what it says. If I read you what the definition of storytelling is, this specifies that the aim of the match is to set up or advance an issue and tell part of the story. For example, if you had a worker on a losing streak, you could use this aim for matches indicate this ongoing issue. The workers will keep the match fairly simple and safe, so not to overshadow the story. Being told this is a good way to give fans something different and to entertain them without taxing the workers. Do you want, I don't know what you mean, do you want me to put it as a longer match or a shorter match? Is that what you're saying? So I'll just do story, if I do storytelling, I'm tempted to do a death match. So I do a death match? <laughs> I might, I'm tempted to start a TNA save and just do it completely wrong and just see how bad it, just see how long I can get before I can pull them out of business. Especially now they've got potentially Tommy Dreamer booking it. Who I can't stand. Right, so we've done that. And then what we'll do after the match is we'll have... So we'll do... Hold on, let me check the chat first. Yeah, I know. I know a lot of people aren't happy about um, Scott Demol leaving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Judgment Day attack Batista after the, after the match. So Randy and Triple H will be added slowly eventually. But for now, it's going to be Batista versus Judgment Day. Oh no, I need to do uh, Dominic and then Finn, Damien, Batista. So for this storyline, do I just look to see which one out of the three of Judgment Day has the best fighting attribute and then put fighting? Or do I just do Dave selling them and then not rate the other three? So do not not rated for Judgment Day, but then do selling for Dave.
You still there, lads? What do you reckon, Josh? Dave, Dave Batista selling or judgment, one of the Judgment Day um, put a fight in? What do you reckon? Batista on the mic, but he's getting attacked. So he's not going to be on the mic, is he? Or is he? No, he's not, because it's a post. It's a post match. It's a post match beatdown because Batista's won. But I want to give Dominic Mysterio a bit of shine back. So should I just do Dominic Mysterio fighting? I mean, he was in prison, you know. So he's going to be. He's going to have high. Remember, we have changed these. Uh, let me have a look at Batista's selling actually. Batista. Batista's selling is 77, so it's not 80. And then Dominic Mysterio's... Where does it say? Is it fighting? I can't remember now. Brawling? Oh, God. Dominic Mysterio's got zero respect. What? How's that? Did I do that, really? Or was I just joking? Hold on. Didn't we edit? We edited Dominic Mysterio. Dominic's got no zero respect. Oh, that was one of you two that said that he should have zero respect. I remember that now. Will that come back to haunt us when it comes to doing like angles and stuff, Josh? Shall I change his change it in the editor? Okay, so just leave it then. I'll just put Dominic Mysterio as fighting then. Okay. Right. Sorted. And then we just... Uh, where is it? There we go. Right, I need to add that to the. I need to push that up there. I need to push that down here. Um, did I do the advance the storyline? No, I didn't. Right, so that's that done. Sorted. Right, we're getting there. I know we're a bit slow today, but like I said, it will get quicker the more I do it. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, they probably do, but I just wanted to put it in there just in case, just to be on the safe side. i just got to try and remember how to do it every time. Right, so we're going to do a Bron Breaker match now. Uh, I'm going to do... Ah, I know what I'm going to do. Here we go. I've got some exciting booking ideas here. So can you see what I can see? Yeah, you can. It's all right. So we do Baron Corbin, Bron Breaker versus Ludwig and Giovinci. So it's a 20 minute match. We do Baron Corbin and Bron with the win. We do Domination. Script it. Decisive win. Pinfall win. Easy peasy. Look at that. We've done that super quick there. See? I'm getting quicker. Getting quicker, Dave. Um, and then we'll do a, we'll do like a a taunt thing before the match. So we'll do Ludwig, Giovinci, Braun, Baron. Do we need to script any of these? Yeah. What are you confused about specifically, Dave? Sorry, am I going a bit too quick or a bit too 
I'm a bit too all over the place, am I? So I've got a storyline with Batista. In, so Evolution versus Judgment Day is a storyline with Batista and Randy Orton and Triple H um, versus Dominic Mysterio, Finn Balor and Damien Priest. But the main storyline is going to be um, Finn Balor and Damien Priest as a tag team versus Batista and Randy Orton as a tag team with Dominic Mysterio and Triple H being involved in it. Cody Rhodes is not in a, he's not on a particular brand. He's either, he's on Raw and SmackDown at the moment. So yeah. So eventually he like because in real life he's he's um he's on both brands. Punk's on Raw. So eventually I might have Cody on Raw, but I mean not until after WrestleMania, obviously. So the bloodline storyline with him and Cody Rhodes is gonna be not a not a major one at the moment up until after the rumble and then it will pick up a bit i might have to put the blood the i might have to make sure the bloodline seth rollins and cody aren't on any particular brands just for that storyline for now just to solve it no they don't need to go on script with they josh okay yeah 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 punk's gonna be in an angle don't worry i'm just working my way through the storylines punk will be involved in a in a in a promo and stuff like that. Um, so, right. Um, so we do Imperium, Taunt, War Dogs. Um, what's their, what's Ludwig Kaiser's mic skills like? I don't I can't imagine he's very good on the mic. Microphone 42. So we can't have him on the mic. Uh Giovanni's probably going to be the same or worse. Uh I'll just do attack. I'll just do attack instead. So like this will be uh post show attack. Post post match attack. To do fighting. There we go. Right, let me just check the chat so I'm not missing anything. Uh, Logan Paul's uh, the U the United States champion, I think, and he is on SmackDown. We do Ludwig Vorga attacking them after the match. So that's that. So I just need to do that. Um, five five five. Right. But Paul Heyman, you want Paul Heyman to manage Imperium? <laughs> My girlfriend just come downstairs into the kitchen and I said, Paul Heyman, she instantly put a thumb down. She hates Paul Heyman, don't you, babe? Boo. Don't worry, no one, don't worry, no one can see you, you're right. <laughs> you want Paul Heyman to manage Imperium? I don't think that would work, though, would it? Yeah, but you can't have him managing everybody. You've got to have somebody else, haven't you? Paul Heyman's with the bloodline though, any Josh. You know that, don't you? Who would make a good manager? Is there is there wrestlers I can look at to, on there? Let me have a look. Let me see who can make who would make what would you do to find who would make a good manager? I assume I assume it's the managing where is it? Manager. Oh, there isn't a manager. Is there not a manager? Oh. I assume there'd be like a manager thing because you've got announcing and colour and refereeing. Mic skills. My brain is broken. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Have I destroyed you two today? <laughs> right, let's have a look at mic skills then. Who's got good mic skills? The Miz would be a good manager in the long run, but he's a babyface at the moment. Mic skills. Ah, oh, there we go. Microphone.
the microphone and then we'll do heal raw uh, heal there we go so Alexa Bliss, Drew McIntyre, Finn Balor, Matt Cadona, Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler, Sheamus, uh, Nakamura, Steve Carino. What do you reckon, Steve Carino, Imperium's manager from now on, do you reckon? Do you reckon that would be a good choice? Let me see if I can put him as a manager. I'll ask him. Talk to him. Right. There we go. No, he's bold and Canadian. Okay, who would you suggest then, the ones we picked? Macadona? Drew? Do you want Drew to be the manager? Do you want Drew to join Imperium? Probably would none of them. Okay. Let's see if we can find one. Can we find... I don't think we can find one, can we? It won't let us. I'll have a look later. I'll have a look after the show. Um, but we'll have a look. We'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Drew probably would be, but as 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 Josh has said, I don't think it matches them really. Plus, Drew's still like a in-ring competitor, and it? it needs to be somebody that's not really wrestling that much now. Um, have a think in between this show. Let me know what you reckon, Josh. Right, so the next match I want to do is, let's have a look, I'll show you. Walter versus Bill Goldberg, what do you reckon? Eh, hey, are we liking the sound of that? Walter obviously to win, but we'll keep Goldberg strong. Uh, do do you reckon we need to do a match aim for this one? Because I just feel like it's got a big match in it. No, I'm keeping Goldberg strong. I need to keep him like a viable option at times. Well, we could test that on TV and then maybe put him in a match for for the Intercontinental title on um, on a pay per view down the road. Because you've got to think Bill Goldberg's getting old now, isn't he? Um, but yeah, what you... So you don't want Bill Goldberg versus Walter? Oh, you mean the match? Oh, I thought you meant you didn't want the match. Okay, fair enough. Right, with that. Right, so we've got that. Bill, Bo Bill Goldberg is furious. So we're going to have to pay off Bill Goldberg at some point. Oh, no. Um, I'm going to have to shorten the match. Oh, no. Uh, ten minutes then. Oh, for God's sake. I'm not putting Bill Goldberg in this match, everyone. The match is cancelled. Right. Give me some suggestions for uh, Walter. Who do you want him to go against? He's not going against Goldberg. Bill Goldberg can't can't be in a match longer than like six minutes by the looks of it at this point in his career. Okay, you want to have a look at the roster? Fine. Right, let's have a look at the roster. So we're doing male baby faces. Right, um, Baron Corbin's already in the match, Batista's already in the match. So we've got Big E, we're not going to do that. Oh, hold on, I need to do active, re hold on. Wrestler, there we go. Bron Breaker's already in the match as well. So we've got Big E, CM Punk, Why? Oh, Johnny Gagano, obviously we're not doing a card just yet. Kofi Kingston, uh, Randy Orton, Rob Van Dam, R-Truth, Sami Zayn. The Miz, Champa, or Xavier Woods. What do you reckon? 
Sami Zayn. Yeah, I don't really want him to squash Sami Zayn. So if we take if we don't want to use our top stars, we've got Xavier Woods, the Miz, R Truth, Rob Van Dam, Kofi Kingston, Johnny Gargano, Tomaso Ciampa, Big E, I suppose. No, it, w it was going to be Goldberg versus Walter, but Goldberg, you can't put in a match. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to do Goldberg and Walter. I'm just going to have to do it as a short match, everyone. So it'll be like a short squash match for, for Walter. Let's see if they'll let me do eight minutes. Actually, I'm going to do... To keep Bill Goldberg happy... Should we do um, Goldberg wins by count out? Or do we just do protect and keep Goldberg strong but, but have Walter win? Because we could do Walter, we could do a count out in this match and then down the road it will set up a bigger match between the two where I will then pull the trigger and let Walter beat him clean. Oh, okay. Hmm. Do we do Bill Goldberg? Beating Walter, and then Walter ends the Intercontinental title run. I don't think we should do that, should we? I'm just going to do Walter winning. We'll keep, as you said, we'll keep Goldberg strong, protect him. Uh, open match, script, decisive win. For win. Should we do a distraction finish? What do you reckon? An interference or a distractor distraction one? Or we'll just keep it as it as it is. Okay, that's fine. I'll just leave it as is then. Just need to do this. Do we do this as an intercontinental title match or do we do it as a uh, non title match? What do you reckon? I'm assuming title match, innit? I'm going to do it for the title. Yeah, yeah. Right, Bill Goldberg's furious. Oh well. I love the fact that Bret Hart. I love the fact that Bret Hart's the road agent for this match. It's so funny. <laughs> right, we'll do six minutes, as you said, Josh. Right. Uh, yeah, I could do that, couldn't I? But what was not very good on the mic, is he? So it probably wouldn't be a good idea. I don't think I need to do a, an angle for that one. We're doing all right. We're only we're only um seventy seven percent on the match at the moment, so we'll probably be all right to leave that as it is. What do you reckon? I'll wait, I'll wait for you to... Right, we're going to do a CM Punk promo though. We'll do a promo of him. 
with your Drew McIntyre. We'll do that. And then we'll do another, we'll do exactly the same. But, oh, I didn't. Did I even title that? Hold on. Right, so that's that done. We'll do 10 minutes for that as well because it's CM Pong. Uh, and then we'll do Drew McIntyre. We'll do 8 minutes for that one. Doing the same. We'll do Drew cuts a promo on CM Punk. So that's that done. There. Do that. Advanced storyline. Right. We're going to do a tag team match. So we're going to do CM Punk versus another with another baby face versus Drew McIntyre and another heel. So who shall we do for the baby? So we, let me have a look at the roster so it makes it easier for you lot. So on the baby face side, we can't do. So we've got Big E, we've got Johnny Gargano, Kofi Kingston, Randy Orton, Rob Van Dam, R True, Sami Zayn, The Miz, Champa or Woods. So I'm probably thinking Sami Zayn, RVD, or Randy Orton. What do you reckon? Or one of the New Day. Or I could do CM Punk. I could do CM Punk and the New Day versus... Ah, I've got a better idea. I've got a better idea. You'll like this one. So we'll do CM Punk and the New Day. Versus Drew, Seamus, and two of us. I just need to figure out who they are. Heel, male. Isn't uh? I think I think Seamus is in a stable, isn't he? Oh, I could just do Ivar, Eric, and Ivar. There you go. Sorted. Are we okay with that, everyone? Oh, you can't see? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, well, can you see it now? You can see it now, can't you? What I did. Yeah? You can see that, can't you, Dave? Yeah, cool. Sorry, mate. Um, so, yeah, Punk and the New Day, because obviously Punk's... I don't know if he still is real-life friends with Kofi. I assume he is. Um, so it can have... It, Sam Punk and the New Day versus Drew... And Seamus and the Viking Raiders. It's a pretty, pretty good match, wouldn't it? He definitely would look like. I, I do think of Seamus and Drew and the uh, and the uh, the Raw Raiders with the Harlot would be actually be a really good badass heel stable, to be honest. Yeah, Drew could have the Braveheart face paint, couldn't he? I'm going to leave this open. I'm not going to have a distinctive winner in this one. We'll do it 20 minutes, which might be a bad thing when you think about it with the wrestlers we've got in here, but we'll see. Um, where's my Drew McIntyre? Didn't I do Drew? Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Sorry.
There we go. Right. How long have we got? So we've done 10 segments going 135 minutes. Ah, oh, we've gone over. We've gone over. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of Walter versus Bill Goldberg, I think. There you go. Still two minutes over, so we'll just do this. Change that to an 18 minute match. Right, Bob's your uncle. There we go. They're already the, bra the Brawling Brutes. I might just put Drew in there in the Brawling Brutes. Right, are we happy with this show? Jesus Christ, we're an hour and a half in, everyone. <laughs> hour and a half into the stream. I will not have time to do another show. I'm promising you that. Not tonight. Right. Um, who broke up? The Raiders? No, no. Eric's injured at the moment, so it's Ivar doing single matches with uh, Bahala in his corner. Uh, Eric will probably be back at some point. Oh, the Brutes. Yeah, they did Yeah, they did break up, but these are the new Brutes. These are the new brawling Brutes. <laughs> if you're going for big Brutes, as much as Pete Dunne is a hard bastard and uh, Tyler Bates is a big, strong boy, I think if you're going for proper brutes, you're going to want to have Ivar and Eric in instead of Pete Dunne and Tyler, aren't you? Who's in the stable? Okay, I'll show you. Uh, I'll see if you can see it first. Let me see if you can see it. Yeah, you can. Right, I'll show you here now. So we've got Seamus as the leader, Eric and Ivar, Killian Dane, Nikki Cross and Valhalla. And I think I'm just going to add Drew McIntyre as the deputy. So there you go. So I just need to edit this now. There we go. Right, so are we happy? Are we happy to crack on with the show? Yeah, Killian yeah, Killian Day. I like Sanity with Eric Eric Young and Nikki Cross too. They were quite good, weren't they? Back in the old good old days of NXT. Yep, right, cool. So we had the War, War Dogs defeated Imperium. Baron Corbin got the win. End of day, he's got a 68 rating. There was no reds, so that's good. Uh, Bron Breaker only had a 58 in-ring performance, which is annoying because we did upgrade him. Baron Corbin had a Baron Corbin was the best best Baron Corbin the best in ring. Yeah, we definitely updated it, yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh back to booking screen. Roster. Uh Bron Breaker. Can you see what I can see? Yeah, you can. Yeah, he's had he had an upgrade. So I don't understand why he's so bad in the ring. Any reason, do you reckon? Do you want me to scroll down so you can see his other attributes? Anything you can think of, Josh, do you reckon it is? Uh, what well, I'm waiting for, Josh. Thank you, everyone. I've had, I've had five or six people in on this stream now for most of the stream so i really appreciate your, your support um there's no pressure if you want to ch join in the chat that's great if you just want to watch that's great as well much appreciated as always um if you're not following me please feel follow uh, feel free to follow me on here oh hey oh, big dance his experience is low and that's why he's bad ah uh, that's right bazinga don't worry bloody hell damn with the knowledge Dan, you need to download this game. I want you to play it as well. <laughs> Dan, Dan, you can actually get a Marvel Universe um, add-on on this, so you can get a database where they've got all the mar all the superheroes. So you could just you could book a wrestling show with superheroes. No, you don't need to though, do you? I mean, look at me. I, I've played this game on and off for years, and I'm still bloody useless. No, I appreciate you pointing that out. Is that? I think that'll probably be it. What do you reckon, Josh? Is Dan right? Do you reckon it's because his experience is low? Probably right, innit? Right, let me carry on with the rest of the show. 
Yeah. Cheers for pointing that out, Dan. Hope you're okay, mate. Right. So, uh, they needed to be a bit more star power, so they didn't like that angle. This match did all right. 78 rating. Um, the, the baby faces beat uh, the heels. Natalia summited Rhea Ripley with the sharpshooter. Well, that 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 was surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Um, we had Rhea Ripley attack Becky Lynch after the match. Um, Batista beat Dominic Mysterio in 15 minutes with the Batista bomb. Good old Big Dave. A little too short. Okay, so I need to make that a bit longer next time. Batista had a 58 match rating. Dominic Mysterio carried the match by the looks of it. Let me just check the chat. I don't want to be going too fast for you. Yeah, pretty good match for uh Yeah, Shayna Baszler's probably over over um what's it called nuked on here is to make her look better than she actually is. I do like Shayna Baszler, I think she's a good wrestler, but I don't think she's ninety three match rating wrestler. Yeah, I think I think from now on I might have to put Big Dave in some tag matches same with Goldberg. Hide hide the fact that they're all buggers. Um so we had obviously we had Judgment Day attack Batista afterwards. We did uh, Drew cut a promo on CM Punk. Got a 95 rating, so that's really good. Same with CM Punk, got a 95 rating as well, so that's really good. Oh, 81 match rating for that match, that's good. Um, we had, yeah, CM Punk and New Day defeated them. Big E pinned Ivar with the big ending. The match was a little bit too short, so maybe if I did it a bit longer, would have got a bit more, but I didn't have enough time in the end. Uh, confusingly, and Nikki Cross are on the. Hmm, I need to do. I need to have a look into that. I thought Nikki Cross and Sheamus were both heels, but I might be wrong. So we've got an eighty-three rating. So that's the best rating we've done for a show so far. Oh, hey, Dan. sorry, Dan. Um, yeah, so this is basically a wrestling version of Football Manager. It's like a wrestling simulation game. Um, yeah, it's just a bit long-winded, isn't it? But um, it's, it's, Football Manager is a lot easier to navigate as well. Yeah, big matches need to be twenty. So from now on, I'll just do matches at twenty minutes at all times. Mike angles are so high. Is that a good thing or a bad thing then? Should we do more mic angles, do you reckon, instead of um, attacking angles, do you reckon? Uh, I can't stand the two. I can't stand two K, Dan. I just don't like that. I don't like. I, I'm. I'm. A, I'm a. I'm a child that was brought up on WWE No Mercy and WrestleMania on the N64. And even though the graphics were really bad, there won't be, there won't be any wrestling games better than them. And then and then there was the first SmackDown game on the PS1, which was good. And then after that, I just lost all interest in wrestling games. I, I played 2K a few times. I just can't get into it. But I could do, I could play it and I could just do the... Uh, yeah, SmackDown versus Raw. Back in the day, they were the best games ever, they were. Especially when you can jump off the giant fist in, on the, in the arena. That was always awesome. Right, so that's that done. So we've done that. At least we got an 83 rating for that show. We're still losing popularity though, Josh. I don't know what we're going to do with that. Well, you managed to jump off the giant fish, uh, fist, um, Dan. Is that what you mean?
Right, what I'll do is I'll skip it forward up until SmackDown, and then I'm going to save it and call it a day after that. Um, I won't be online tomorrow. I was going to, um, from now on, my schedule will be uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, 2 p.m. till 4 p.m., uh, or just near 4 p.m. I'll be doing TW stuff with WWE, and then on a Friday, I'll be doing um, Football Manager content on Twitch starting next week. I'm going to start a new Football Manager save, um, managing a team in Uganda and also the Ugandan national team. And I've, and I've bought a Ugandan national team football shirt, which I thought was a legit shirt, but, but it's a concept shirt, so it's a fan-made shirt. But it still looks really cool. I've showed Josh, he liked it, so yeah. Oh yeah, that was always fun, Dan. We'll have to do that one day. We'll have to have um, me, you, and the me, you, and the rest of the lads, and that. We'll have to do um, a WWE Raw versus SmackDown two uh, night or something where we'll just play old school wrestling games. So yeah, I want to go back. I want to. I want to try and do three days a week of TW stuff because that is picking up. Um, nicely now and then do one day of football manager content so i want to try and do i want to try and do four days a week of streaming there might be some weeks where i only do three because i might be a little bit burnt out but um hopefully i'll be all right Right, let me just check something. I want to check if Nikki Cross is a heel. I don't think she's a heel. No, she's a bloody baby face. Ugh. There we go. I've got to turn her, her heel at some point. Uh, let's, have, let's see how many people we've got to turn heel and face. Right, face who's turning. So we've got Nikki Cross turning heel, and then we've got a heel who's turning. I've got winning real. Oh, I've only got two people to turn, so that's not too bad. I can do them on the next show and just get it done. Yeah, my days of gambling are over, Dan. I don't. I don't gamble no more. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that's about it then, lads. I think I'm going to call it a day. Oh, actually, before I go, we'll have a look and see how NXT's been doing since we last looked. So, NXT. We'll have a look at AEW as well, see how they've done. If we go, can you see what I can see? Yeah, you can. Right. We go titles. So, Drew, Drew Gulak's the NXT. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Drew Gulak's the NXT champion. They've got no NXT tag team champions at the moment. No women's champion. They've got an NXT cruiserweight title, which nobody has at the moment. And then nobody's the North American champion either. So there's only one person with the title at the moment in there. Uh, should we have a look at? Let's have a look at profile. Right, you can't. Yeah, you can see that. That's all right. Uh, it's not that. I mean, it's just, it's just, I can do another 15 minutes. I just don't want to do more than two hours, mate. And if I do the next show, it's going to take ages in it. I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll do the next show. Don't worry about it. Um, if it goes slightly over, it goes slightly over. I'll just have a look at, see what's going on with NXT and AW first. Just out of curiosity. Right, so tag teams, Bravado Brothers. Can you see that? No, you can't see what I can see. I don't bear with us. There you go. So 
So you've got the Bravado Brothers, you've got the uh, Lock and Loaded tag team from last time. That's the tag team we've already seen. I don't think there's any... Pretty Deadly I sent to NXT, so they're there. We've got the State of an Emergency tag team, which is a new one. That's a new one that I mentioned. We've got the Raver Girls, which is uh, Casey and Caden. The Real Deal, which is uh, Wesley and Rockstar Spud. The Von Erics are there. Candice and Indy Hartwell are there. And then TNT, which is uh, Devon's kids. So... Right, let's just have a quick look at stables. No, there's no different. There's no new stables. So then we'll go to show history now. So they've had one more show since we last looked. I oh, know it is a bit annoying, Josh, but it's just there's nothing I can do about it. I just don't want you lot missing out. It only takes a few seconds. It's just a bit of annoyance when it comes to streamlining it really I wish there was an easier way of doing it no cheers for coming along Dan um, Dan I appreciate it and cheers for your help enjoy the rest of your day mate thank you right so yeah so we had um, Damone Sav uh, Salivano he's won again so he's on a bit of a winning streak uh, James Darnell won Valentino Perez. I mean, we're going to have a lot of women's matches by the looks of it. Chris Hero defeated Dragunov. That was that would probably be a good match in real life. DG Jolin beat Chantel Jordan. Bobby Stevenson and Von Emmerich defeated uh, Maximus Khan and the Old School Outlaws. Dragon Lee defeated Levi Muir. I, I sent Dragon Lee down to developmental as well. Uh, Dijak and Mad Madcap Moss defeated only Lorcan and Curtis Axel in a ladder match. And then Drew Gulak defeated Flamita and Sean Spears to retain the NXT Championship title. Right, so then that's that. So let's have a look at AEW. Let's see who's the title. Kenny Omega is the champion, but I think that's that he's been the champion for ages because it's an old database. Young Bucks are the tag team champions. Can you see this? Yes, you can. I need a second monitor. Would that make a difference? Would it, Dan? I ain't got the money for a second monitor yet anyway. Um, but I might look into that eventually. Why is it not? There we go. Uh, Shida is the women's champion. I think a lot of these are champions that were there before. Yeah, there's no there's no, there's no, new ones. They've got an AEW international title now though. Chris Jericho is the champion of that. And then so we have a look at tag teams. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any new tag teams. Pain and Punishment. Oh, there's a new tag team. Pain and Punishment. Kota Ibushi and Daniel, Daniel Garcia. Oh, you can't see that, can you? Uh, yeah, don't worry, Josh. I'll be heading off in a minute anyway. Um, Yeah, I can look into it, couldn't I, Dan? I'll have a look at it down the road. I can't afford it at the moment, though. Yeah, you can't see that other screen. I've got to add another screen now. There you go. Kota Ibushi and Daniel Garcia. I keep calling him Daniel. Daniel Garcia. Uh, the Initiative? No, that was there before. Yeah, that's the only new tag team in the AEW. Uh, and then we'll look at show history. Why are they only having collision? Why is collision only in one there? Hmm. That's weird. Josh, any reason why they've only got collision and not dynamite? No, I appreciate it, Dan. I'm not saying it's not a bad idea. I just can't. I just can't financially afford to get a monitor, another monitor at the moment. It's just not. And I, I and because I have my laptop on um, a laptop on my on my lap itself, I haven't got a desk at the moment. When I finally find somewhere else to live, I'll probably get like a desk and then maybe look at getting a mul multiple monitors and doing it like that. Yeah, it's weird that AEW's only got collision in it, but yeah, there's nothing we can do about it now. Uh Anything major here? Chris Jericho won the international title on that show, defeating Samoa Joe. Oh, Athena defeated Mercedes Monet. 
that would have been that would be a good match in real life. I hope they do wrestle each other at some point. We had John Hennigan and Jeff Hardy defeat FTR. Miro defeated Bandido and Eric, uh, Eddie Kingston. Uh, Adam Copeland defeated Nick Wayne. Nothing else really worth mentioning. Right, uh, let's try it. What I'll do is I'll book as much as possible for the next... Actually, there's no point, is there? There's no point. Um... Yeah, Dan, please don't think I'm having a go at you, by the way. <laughs> you know that, don't you? I don't know why. I don't know whether it's the tone of voice I'm using. I'm not having a go at you. You know that, don't you? No, I appreciate it. I think maybe I'm misreading what you're putting as well. <laughs> That's all right. No, that's all right. I just want to make sure, mate, because sometimes it's hard in messages. Enjoy the rest of your day, though. Cheers, cheers for popping along, as always. So, um, yeah. What I'll do then, Dave, just to satisfy your uh, your needs for me to do eight minutes. Um, actually, do you know what? I'm going to auto-book this one and hope for the best. There we go. Controversial. I'll auto-book it, but I'll check it. So don't panic. I'll make sure nothing bad really happens. So we've had a backstage incident involving Carly and Rey Mysterio. Can you see that? Uh, you can't see it, but don't worry. I'll read it out to you. Carlito was brought before wrestlers court, basically um, failing to pick up the tab of the bar. Rey Mysterio found him guilty and sent him to buy drinks for everyone after the show. Carlito um, has a selfish personality. He's currently extremely happy. And it had a small positive impact on Carlito. It wasn't worth me adding an extra screen for that. Right, so we're going to go auto booker. We're going to see what... Oh, hold on, let me have a look first. Um, we'll do major stars only and we'll see what comes up. We'll do title matches. Um, and then we do that first and we'll just see what comes up. Yeah, just see it, like I said. I can always change a little. I'll just change a little bit here and there. This can just be a throwaway show before the Rumble. Because in real life, that's basically what they do near enough, in it, for the Rumble. So we've got Maya Yin versus X-Park. This is what happens when you have an integrated uh, women's division with the male wrestlers. Naomi versus Jade. Loki versus Carmella. I might just run this show for a laugh. I just want to make sure... We've got Nick Aldis versus Cody Rhodes. I'll make sure Cody wins that one. We don't want him to lose that. Um, Xbox not losing to Maya Yim. He's going to be my future world champion at this rate if I carry on. Uh, we don't want Jade to lose to Naomi. So we'll book Jade to win. I don't care, Naomi, you're losing. Uh, I'll leave Loki versus Camella just for a laugh to see who wins. Not too bothered about that. Street Profits versus Los Deferios. Bad Burning versus Kevin Owens. Rey Mysterio versus Bobby Lashley. And then Bianca Belair versus AJ Styles. Actually, that would be a good intergender match, wouldn't it? AJ Styles versus Bianca Belair. Right then, I'm running this. So wish me luck. There we go. So Xbox, Xbox, Xbox defeated my Yim in four minutes for some reason. Jay Cargill. They booked they booked him in very small matches. There's more than two, Josh. I think. I might be wrong. Actually, there might only be two. I think we. I think what we'll do is um, down the road. When when I finally burnt out creativity, I'll probably just I'll probably just auto book the next six months for shows just for a laugh. But we'll we'll see how it goes first with this. At least it'll be a lot quicker. We'll get through a lot more shows doing it auto booker. So uh, Jay Cargill defeated Naomi. Naomi had an in ring performance in ninety one, so the match got like seventy percent too bad. Jay Cargill's only got a in ring performance of fifty. I do think Dan was right, Josh, about experience. I think it does make a big difference. 
I think what I'll do for an ex an, an experiment uh, when when I stream next on Monday, I think I'll up Bronze and Jade's experience up a bit more and years they've had as a pro, just to see if it makes any difference to the match. An extremely short match, Carmella. <laughs> Carmella defeated Loki. <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, I mean, Carmella is taller than Loki, so, I mean, you know, if it was a proper MMA fight, I probably would put money on Carmella to beat him. This match was far too short. Well, you're the one that booked it, so you can't have a go at me. Only got a 59 rating. Angle with Apollo Crews. Angle with Oscar. Angle with Cody Rhodes and Nick Aldis. Cody Rhodes defeated Aldis in five minutes. All these matches are really, really short. It's really annoying. It doesn't go with the product that we're doing, which is a bit a bit annoying. Um, an angle involving Los Nefarios and Street Profits. This one went 20 minutes, so at least there's that. This went really well, 77. Everybody had great chemistry. Do you want me to pause it for a minute, Josh? I'll give it I'll give you like I'll give it like two minutes. I'll wait for you to reply. We still got like two minutes to go if I was gonna do the full hour anyway. I don't want I don't want to uh, annoy anybody, feel like they've been shortchanged. You're still with us, Dave. I appreciate you, you uh, watching all the way through. How are you getting on with your TEW save, by the way, Dave? Are you still playing it? Right, Josh ain't answering me, so I assume he's he's out for the rest of the the day now. I'll let him know later what happened. Uh, Carrillo was angry after the match, upset that uh, Angelo Dawkins almost injured him with a botch move. So that's not good. Uh, we had a we had a angle with Bad Bunny, and Kevin Owens got an eighty five rating. Kevin Owens defeated Bad Bunny in like four and a half minutes. The match was not very good, and it's way too short, which is annoying. At an angle with Bobby Lashley and Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio defeated Bobby Lashley in five minutes. Oh, my God. So I've got a 70-minute rating. So this, this is annoying. Uh, angle with AJ and Bianca. Bianca Belair defeated AJ Styles. <laughs> the women are on top tonight. Don't say anything, Dave. Um... <laughs> There you go. So the show lost us a popular popularity in thirty regions. Matt Minoid, yeah, I don't blame you on that one. Right, I'm just gonna skip forward until the day of the Royal Rumble and then I'm gonna save it so then when we come back I'll have the Royal Rumble booked because it'll be pre booked so it'll be easy for me to then do it and then we should be Okay, hopefully. But yeah, thank you everyone as always. Uh, thank you Josh, thank you Dave, thank you Dan, thank you Bazinga. Um, have I missed anybody? I think they were the you were the four main ones, weren't you? Um, we're growing the community slowly but surely. We've got like three three good lads like yourselves, and then Dan pops in as well. We could do with some more. Um, but that will come with time. It's not one of them things that's going to happen straight away. Naomi's not happy. Happy. So I'm going to give her some money. She's still not happy. Jesus Christ, woman. There you go. You're happy now. Just gave Naomi a million pounds just to keep her happy. It's a good thing we're in the money, isn't it? 40 million in the bank. Right. How many days? Two days. So we'll just forward it now. I oh, know one day, so yeah. 
Yeah, it should be good. I mean, you pretty much know what's going to happen, don't you? Because of the fact that um, I reckon I'm going to put up to vote. I reckon should we should we not have a set winner for the Royal Rumble and let the AI decide who wins for both matches, or would you want a certain? Well, I'll talk about it on Monday with you. We'll talk about it on Monday. We'll figure it out. Oh, I've just I've just realised. I've been streaming this and I forgot to click record as well. So this won't be, um, yeah, I'll have to download it or something. I know I can't. This won't be up on the video on demand thing. That's annoying. Uh, nothing I can do about it now, though. Right. So the Royal Rumble's tonight, so we're just going to save it now. Really annoyed the fact that I didn't press record. When I click... When I click on the software I use, when I usually click uh, start streaming, it starts automatically recording. I need to, I need to check on the options. Anyway, I'm talking out loud. Sorry. Um, right. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to head off. Dave, enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you have, hope you have a nice evening with the twins. Say hello from me. Um, Josh, have I hope you find what you need in the shop. And uh, I'll I will be back on Monday, two p.m. Um. Looking forward to booking the Royal Rumble and getting as far as we can towards the Elimination Chamber as possible. Hopefully we'll get the Elimination Chamber done by the end of next week. And then like every week we can get a, an event done. So on that note, I'm going to go Dave, Dan, um, Josh, Bazinga. Enjoy the rest of your day. All the best, lads. See you later. Bye.